So you want to start by getting yourself some black material, and then you'll just fold it over itself lengthwise, so the ends meet. And then you want to make sure that the length, you want it to be from your shoulders down to your ankle. So then just lay down on it and mark out where your shoulders are and where your waist is. You want it to be about two inches away from your shoulder and your waist so you have a little bit of extra room to work with. And then just cut out a divot where the waist is. Just like that. Um, if you're a guy, you might be able to get away with just doing straight sides, but if you're female, you're going to need the divot. And then you'll just cut the shoulders off at an angle and then cut out a divot for the neck big enough for your head to go through. And so it's double layered with the two pieces, but then you'll just do the same thing again with another piece for the lining and then put all four pieces together. And so then you're going to sew all four pieces together along each shoulder. And then you'll leave the part that sticks out, leave that open for the armholes. And then you'll sew around the divot just down to your waistline, no farther. And the rest of the sides, all the way down, you're going to leave open on both sides. So here it is sewn together. And so I've got all my different layers here, the two layers for the outside and then the two layers for the inside, the lining. So then just cut straight up the center, all the way up to your waist. So you have the opening, and then you're just going to sew hem under the edges. So you'll be hemming under two pieces, the outside and the lining. You just hem those under on each side. And then for the belt, cut a piece of pelon four inches wide, and then cut a second piece the same width. And then you're just going to hot glue the two pieces together all the way down. That'll make it nice and stiff. Then just get a piece of fake leather fabric and lay that down. You want to make sure you lay it so that the shiny side is down. And then lay your pelon, your extra thick pelon, on top of that. Then you're just going to hot glue the sides of the fake leather up around the pelon. All the way down. So here it is once I've got it glued. It makes a fairly convincing leather belt. So then just take a couple of pieces of sticky back velcro and stick them on the inside on one end. And then you'll stick the corresponding pieces on the outside of the other end and then the two ends will connect but I will not actually be doing that in this tutorial because silly me I forgot to get more velcro when I was in town last week so I'm just going to fasten it with a paper clip so then for the under tunic um, I just got a plain black turtleneck from a second hand shop and um, if you want the runching on the sleeves um, just get a turtleneck that's several sizes longer than your arms and you can just runch it up and hot glue the runches in place but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to keep it simple and just leave the sleeves flat. And so to make it more like a tunic, I'm just going to take a little bit of black material and I'm just going to sew that to the bottom of the turtleneck. You want it to be long enough so the ends just above the knee and then just sew it to the bottom all the way around. Then I just got a pair of black gloves from a second hand shop. They've got a little design on it, but the sleeves will be covering that up. So then here is what the finished costume looks like, with my little paper clip holding the belt on the back. It's just us now. Han Solo can't save you.